Hey guys, Angel here with my uh, first batch of Obsidian Flame. Um, so I don't really post on social media that much, but all my all my booster boxes apparently got lost in the mail. So I'm dealing with that refund, but uh, luckily I was able to get a hold of a couple of these. So I'm going to open it up real quick and then uh, we'll get to the pack opening. I'll talk a little bit more during the pack opening. All right. So... Uh, here is the Charmander that comes with all, uh, every single one of the boxes. Uh, as I was opening it, I was actually really impressed. Uh, they've actually upped the quality on the box, so you can... You might not be able to see it because of my lighting, but you can actually see uh, more detail put into the flames, which is pretty cool. Uh, I always like little aesthetic things like that. They actually did the same thing with the... Uh, by, or the... Uh, card separators uh, I use these a lot and generally they're pretty plain I actually have one sitting next to me which is from uh, Paldea Evolve so like as you can see they're normally really plain on one side and then the other side has like a little bit better art but these actually have like you can actually see like the hollow flames and then the other side that does the same like they don't slack on the hollow flames which I think is really cool um, but, you know, like when I open this stuff, a lot of times I look for like the little stuff like that. Cause like, you know, it's sleeves. Like a lot of times if you're gonna sleeve your deck in these, it's either you, cause you really like Charmander or they were the only sleeves you had laying around. So when they put the extra work into it, it really does make, make it like you question it a little bit more. The dice though, uh, actually disappointed in the dice. Uh, the other two were really cool. Uh, I don't have them sitting by me. But like they do like this special light layering where no matter how you arc the dice, the light will always run away from you, which I really like. This one they do more like it looks like they tried to do in like ash, like uh, like your know, fire embers burning away, which I, I guess is cool, but I, I don't think it is as cool as the other two. But all right, I'm gonna get into opening the packs. Set that over there. I mean, it feels good opening packs. I've been dealing with customer support for like the past week and it has just been, it has been eating me, man. Like I opened resale product the other day and I was really mad about it. I'm just going to put all the code cards. No, I'll just show it off. So here's the first code card. Like it has just gotten me so mad that like I've not been looking forward to opening anything like I've just been sitting on a bunch of products so we got Gloom, Bronzor, Snumble, Capsicid, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, Armoru, we got new Armourouge, uh, I'll read it later, Toad School, Capsicid, and then we got Tossisitor, which I always like them. Move the cards over here. But yeah, so like, I I tried messaging the seller for my resale product, but the problem is that he claims that he just buys, he bought it from someone else, so I, I knew that was going to happen, but I, I did it anyway. So here's another one, which like I said in my video, I'm glad I'm the one that opened it because, you know, I'd hate if I resold it to somebody or gave it away. But we got Cubs Chews. Spoink, uh, Atmo, that's how you say it, it's Tonimo, Circuit, ooh, a new Lunatoad, Serena, Lycanroc, Orterra, Electros, and Togekiss for the rare. But yeah, like, my, my worst fear is, is that, because I collect a lot of, like, legacy product, and I'm afraid that I'm going to resell it one day and I'm going to get that message that, hey, your stuff was uh, resealed and I'm just going to be so mad. Here's the other code. Got ourselves a fire energy, a drills burr, a cub chew, a spoink, a tadmo, a orega, a volcarona, an arteria, a Bond Suite, a Skull Villain, and a Pat or a Palfin. I'm all I'm not lie. I like Pat or Palfin. Uh, <laughs> I like the whole hero aesthetic. 
So, like, and the zero to hero is, I think, was a really cool ability. Uh, even though I know it's, uh, competitively, it's a little uh, lopsided. There we go. Into the front. We got Darma Darmanica, Brokey, Bond Sweet, Volpix, Probapass, Vengeful Punch, Skarmory, Excadrill, Sinity, and Ga uh, Gilete? Galate? I think it's Galate. It's either Galate or Guillete. But I'm, I'm not going to question it. I, I, I can barely read the words I know. I don't want to try guessing how to properly say the words I don't know. Alright, here we go. We got herself a Sursit, a Froki, a Dar uh, Darmana, a Yongoose, a Houndoom, a Bashus, a Magnazone, a Carvana, a Kangaskhan. Ooh, we got our first EX of the new set, and it's Pomote EX, which I do like Pomote. Uh, I have a soft spot for all the Pikachu clones, so I'm not too upset. Uh, I can't wait to read them, though. One of my buddies, he does TCG content. Uh, he slowed down a little bit, but uh, I we like to look at weird cards like that and see if we can make cool decks especially out of just new, the new set because i think we have rotation rotation's either been announced or it's about to be announced i don't know the date when this video goes up yet we got phantom whooper uh buzzo zoo i can't remember his name right now we got small oh espion my favorite Sharkpedo, Lanoon, we got Rimum, we got Jertini, and we got Darkrai. Oh, we're at the age of Darkrai again. I remember when I first came back to Pokemon, it was like, there was a Darkrai toolbox deck. And then when I went to my, uh, my second expanded tournament, there was literally people playing all Darkrai decks and it just blew my mind. There's that much Darkrai support in dark eye so we got ourselves inke toad school Aundar, dad bub uh war trio kangaskhan wish cast toxicity zang or uh, zangoose and caesar i love caesar too he was my first meta deck I brought to uh, a Florida regional. That was a fun drive. Woo! Man. We did. I think we were going by the name Please Don't Crit Me at the time. And we would drive all over to go do Pokemon video game and card tournaments. And man, that was that was fun, dude. That was a good youth. We got ourselves Paldea Wooper, Baltoid, Carnivine, Lachonk. Houndoom, Gramble, uh, Mal Malamar, Inke. Oh, we got the we got them right next to each other. Heatmore and a clay doll. Man, this uh, this box is not looking that hot either. Oh my gosh, I got one ex so far. Dude, it has not been a good week to opening cards. All right. Oh, last pack, guys. Oh, man. Here's the code. Let's move the card up. And we got Steel Energies, uh, Stateen, Wooper, Baltoy, Carnivine, Float Soul. Ooh, we got Umbreon, Lapras, Seismic Toad, King Gambit, and a Toxicity. Again, my goodness, dude. I pulled like five of him, I think. Not the rare, but like just throughout the set. But yeah, this is the only uh, only hit I got off the box, which man, this screams. Uh, what set was that, man? It was the dark set, dude. The Giratina one, man. It was screams that all over again. I, I I guess I'll pick up one more box and see if I get it. If this happens again, but man, I just hate when I only hit one hit out of a EBT. 
which I know a long time ago there used to be like a minimum hit off these but I guess they changed it a while back or I'm just unlucky I mean I wouldn't be surprised but oh well ah uh, but besides that you guys remember to have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next video